Hey, Tony here, Random Ventures 2.0. What are we doing and where are we at? Well, <laughs> what we're doing, <laughs> we gotta start our intro music. There it is, all right, well, let's get to our spot. We're doing a stealth camp today. Uh, I'll tell you more about it when we get there. Okay, so we're at our spot. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to leave the car in the parking lot and hike to my spot. So where we're at, well, maybe I should show you on Google Earth um, the exact spot. Now, over to the right of me is a very, very busy intersection. It's Route 61 and um, 54. So they crisscross right there. Um, and I'm in the parking lot of this Dollar General. There used to be a, um, a restaurant right next to it. They tore that down and they built this. Now there's a little road and I'll show you that as we walk over to it. I found this little <laughs> spot. It's like a culvert. But as soon as you walk down the bank, there's the creek. So, ah. Uh, I don't have anything to eat. So I think what we're gonna do is go set up our hammock, get our spot figured out, and then come back and shop in Dollar General and pick out a meal. I don't know what they got. So we're gonna pick out a meal and then we're gonna go back over there and cook it. But we got a lot to do and not a lot of time before it gets dark. All right, here we go. All right, I got my backpack. We're gonna close the car up. Let it go down and I'm gonna lock it. <laughs> I got my backpack on so I look really obvious. But we're gonna start walking over to the area. I kinda wanna maybe stay close to the building. All right, so I'll look at my shadow. <laughs> Isn't that obvious? All right, so we're gonna head towards the back of the building. You can see there's a big coal bank right there which I can't get up that, but that's not where we're going. So this is the back of the building. Like I said, this is a brand new uh, facility. And what is it? Well, it's a Dollar General. <laughs> all right, well, we'll take a look at that when we get all set up. But they paved this road that just ends. So I was here the other day, and when I was here, this road just ends, and then I saw this. And I was like, oh, we gotta come back here and camp but it's gonna be a little tricky to get down here. And you can see the culvert there and uh, the creek. <laughs> so little oasis right here in the middle of all this. So we're kind of back a ways from the ro main road. So right there used to be the restaurant. That was the uh, Village Town Family Restaurant. They still got the sign up. So I think something's eventually gonna go in there, but that's looking back at the uh, Dollar General. And uh, this is what we got to go down right here. To get down here, I think we can navigate and get this done. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little steep for me with that stroke on that stroke side. Looks a little muddy. Trying to get to a spot right over in there. Looks like some trees that we can hook to, but look at that creek. It's hard to believe that we are right where we're at. <laughs> and right over there is the Dollar General. And then right over on that side is that major uh, intersection. Yeah. Oh, I gotta find me two good trees. That's far enough apart, <laughs> but we're making our way over there. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our hammock set up. It's not supposed to rain tonight, but it is cloudy but it's only like a 2% chance of rain. I do have a tarp uh, with me, uh, which will be good. And we can, st I think I'll hold off on setting that up, but I'm really close to the water. I think I've only got <laughs> a 10 foot spot here, uh, but yeah. All right, well, let's get the hammock set up. 
And then once we get our hammock all set up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead over to the store, buy some food. Uh, like I said, I have no clue what we're gonna eat tonight, but we'll figure that out when we get gets a little closer. <laughs> so I've got I've got my hammock and stuff in this dry bag here. And uh, like I said, I just gotta keep moving sticks. Uh, strap, we're gonna hook that up and then we're just gonna walk this out to this other tree here. Yeah, this is a nice spot. Oh my goodness, it's pretty cool. So I've let some slack out over on the other side there and then I'm working my way back this way towards this tree because I want to be more this way because this spot right here is a lot, a lot clearer for me to sit on, things like that. All right, we got the moment of truth. <laughs> All right, oh, dump the stuff out from the leaves from the last time. I think those might have been uh, Ann Rondack leaves. Oh, I think we got this set up pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, just lay back here. I think we're good. Got a tree right here. I can. <laughs> if I had my tarp, we'd throw our tarp on there. But we're not. We're not going to need a tarp. I don't think. Like I said, it's cloudy. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I got to look at the weather again. But. We don't have time for that. <laughs> we got to get up to, to Dollar General and see what we're going to get to eat. But yeah, I think this will be perfect. Yeah. If we put the tarp up or I think we're going to need to, I'll do that later. But I don't think we're going to have to. All right. Oh, Ridgeline's good. Good deal. All right. Well, let's get going. Yeah, so we're just going to leave our hammock and everything just right here. One thing nice about this creek is that kind of, that the sound of this creek kind of blocks all the traffic noise. I can still hear the traffic noise, but once that dies down later this evening, I think this is all we're gonna hear. That's some nice little rapids right there. All right, let's get over to Dollar General. Ah, uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> That's that culvert. And there's another one right there. Uh, I didn't get up the bank yet. <laughs> I stopped here to see this. Oh, all right, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back up. So there's a big uh, crane up there that's digging, or a front end loader that's uh, pulling coal out of the bank up there. Uh, but right over there, just on the other side, that's where we're at. Like I said, that's where we came up. But let's just look over here. So that red maple there. It's kind of camo in our hammock. It's a good thing our hammock's green. Yeah, you really can't see it. You know, and nobody's going to walk over here anyhow. I don't believe you can see all the traffic down there. That's a busy intersection. That'll be busy all night. But like I said, I hope, hopefully that stream will uh, deter any noise from getting to us. And we can get a good night's sleep. Ah, it's feeling good already. Let's get in the store. Yeah, you can see the Dollar General sign. And we got Dollar General. There's Dollar Generals everywhere. And like I said, this is a pretty new one. There's a couple that have been built in the area just recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on in here and get some food. All right, so we've got our bag, and now we got to work on getting back, back to our spot. Oh, you couldn't see me. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna keep going and uh, get right back to where we were. All right, so I'm back over at the, getting ready to drop down over, but there's someone walking out there on the road. So there are people that walk and back and forth from that little town to the Turkey Hill that's just right on the other side of these trees. So I'm gonna get back down here. So we're back down off the bank there and just looking up <laughs> upstream here, you really can't see our hammock. 
man, we're sitting there pretty good. I mean, it's not much cover, but hey, we got all this uh, coal bank and stuff and all this fill right on this side of us and just up there is Dollar General. And uh, yeah, make our way back over there. And like I said, that, that creek is amazing. <laughs> I tell you, this is an awesome spot. Hopefully it'll be safe. All right, there's our haul, <laughs> and there's our hammock. So I've got to get the table set up yet. Now, I didn't bring a chair. I'm going to work on it this time and just try to use the hammock as my seat. Got our Trexology table all set up, so let me set that down right in front of us here and lay out what we're having for dinner. So we didn't just get dinner, but I grabbed something for a dessert. <laughs> I saw they had something in there and I was like, I haven't seen that in a long time. So I'll have to show you what that is. Uh, but we got our little haul here. And I did grab something for breakfast too. It's supposed to be cold enough tonight. So I think what I got will work out good for this. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you what it is because that's for breakfast. You wanna see that? You gotta stay tuned. <laughs> and then we got our dessert. I'll show you that later too. So what are we having for dinner? Well, <laughs> Let me point you down here so you can see it. Dun, 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 dun. We're having jalapeno Velveeta cheese sauce. All right, so what's gonna go with that? Well, believe it or not, <laughs> they had this, um, which is really cool. So they had meatballs. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take the meatballs and the jalapeno cheese, uh, and we are gonna put them on some hot dog buns and make meatball subs. How's that sound? Now I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna cook it. <laughs> but I did bring um, one of the pots from the um, Fire Maple uh, Feast 5 that I just did a review on. And you can see that picture there. So this is the smallest one out of the pots. This is the 8.0.8 uh, liter pot. So thought we could use that. What I was thinking of doing is, because these are in bags, I could boil water and set these down in it, but I think I'm gonna dirty a pot tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna pour all these meatballs right into that pot and heat it up. Now, how are we gonna heat it up? Well, I'm gonna use our Fire Maple uh, X2, and I'll just gonna, I'm not gonna use the top part. I'm gonna get the burner out of here and use the burner. Uh, along with the grate and set our pot right on top of it. Well, you'll see it here when I get cooking. All right, so I've got it all put together here and you just wanna give that a quick turn counterclockwise. It locks this top piece on here and there you have it. That's when you wanna use it as a grill top and not use it with the cup. So we're gonna put the cup away and we're gonna get started with our meatballs. Ah, so <laughs> fully cooked and ready to eat. Just looking at the servings. So there's two servings in here. Now the cheese, I just looked at that. That's only one serving. So that's one serving of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. So the meatballs uh, made with beef, chicken, with spaghetti sauce. Mmm. Sounding yummy. Fully cooked, ready to eat. So we just got to heat this up. So get all our meatballs in here. So I'm going to, you know, that's <laughs> for two servings. That's not a whole lot of meatballs, but I think we can get at least two, two subs out of that. They actually look pretty good. Well, I'm going to start our trash bag. All right, I'm thinking we're going to do that a little, little low and slow. So we'll get our stuff on there, our meatballs and put our lid on you know what i might because the lid does get warm yeah that might get a little warm i'm gonna lay our cheese right on top of there maybe it'll melt it a little bit <laughs> so i hear a lot of traffic that's coming up to that um, stoplight there it's four-way stoplight i'm hearing this bubbling inside of there so I keep uh, taking the cheese and I'm flipping it on top of this lid, melting it, or it's already melted, but 
I'm just getting warm. Yeah, I can't see the traffic sitting here, so they wouldn't see me at all. Yeah, it's a nice spot. I keep saying that. <laughs> okay, you can see I got my hot dog buns right there. Let's go check on our meatballs. Ah, they're a boiling. Now that's a meatball. Okay, so I think we may. Yeah, that's going to need to cool down a little bit. You can see I've got our rolls all laid out there. Now we're just going to scoop these meatballs. Now if I don't use all of them, I'll just eat the rest of them right out of the pot here. Now this is the first time I'm using this cook set. And this is that feast. Uh, it's one of the items out of the feast five. Let's see, can we get another one on there? Can we get five? Uh, I don't think uh, it might, might fall out, but we're going to stick one on there. <laughs> see, we can squeeze it in on the end. Get in there. Uh, oh, I dripped sauce on my table. Yeah, it looks like we got a couple left that we can eat by themselves. I'll put that on. Now we got to get our cheese. This is the jalapeno. Velveeta cheese. And we'll squeeze some right on there. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. They said it's only one, one serving. <laughs> that's a lot of cheese for one serving. So it could have melted a little bit more, but hey, that's a good. Okay, we're going to set our cheese right there. We're going to grab our first. <laughs> First meatball sub, and oh, that's looking good. <laughs> yeah, I think instead of eating in bed, I'm gonna get up and uh, come a little closer to the water. And uh, here we go, first bite. <laughs> Too funny. Meatball subs in the woods <laughs> next to Dollar General. The jalapeno cheese, yeah, it's spicy. Not that that spicy though. Very good. Very, very good. Mm. All right, I got one more to eat. Yeah, the sun's going down, so I can see that uh, Village Town Family Restaurant sign. <laughs> I can tell the sun's setting. I can't see it setting this way, but I can tell because it's this the sign changed colors. <laughs> like. Well, then change colors, but you can see the see the sun on it. Oh, the parking lot lights came on over there. Well, I ate the first one. <laughs> so here's the second one. Oh, I don't want, don't want to lose the meatball. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. That'll be it for dinner. <laughs> oh, I still got three in there, and I gotta eat the rest of that cheese out of the bag. I guess I'll just. I don't know. Maybe I'll squirt it on. Use it like squirt cheese. Squirt it on the spoon and put a meatball on there and eat that. Uh, that should clean up pretty good. I just licked the pan. <laughs> I won't show you that. Uh, but that fire maple pan, it did really good. It didn't, it didn't burn it. I think going low and slow was a good thing for that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's like brand new. <laughs> so it didn't stick at all. Great job, Fire Maple. I'm gonna be happy with that pan. Mm. Well, I'll bring you back <laughs> a little bit later on. Man, that water's flowing. I don't know where it comes from. I've been up top there and it's all fill. I don't know if there's a big spring up there or if it's a 
there's from coal mines, it's uh, flooded and it's the water coming out of a coal mine, an old coal mine. I don't know. <laughs> well, all right, I'm gonna finish this. Talk to you soon. Yeah, like I said, you can't really see the sunset, but the uh, clouds are starting to turn yellow. So it's been about 20 minutes now. I cleaned up camp a little bit, but I grabbed uh, this right here. <laughs> Why did I grab this? Well, let me tell you. So it's a laser measurer. <laughs> I brought it along about 10 different times and I keep forgetting to use it. <laughs> I want to I want to check my trees, you know, once I get set up and and see how far apart they are, they are. I'm usually pretty good with my sight, but I I like I never knew. So I want to check this. So you just hold it up against the tree. Let's get the laser going. Fire the laser out of the tree. And then give it a push. Oh 19.3 feet, or 19 feet, three inches, <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty good, under 20 feet. So any, because it feels good and I, I know the lay is really nice at that length, um, I can check trees <laughs> anytime I'm out with this, like, but I usually got a pretty good eye about it now. But I always want to do it, <laughs> there you go. These are a lot of fun. Now I'm just gonna play. <laughs> so I wanna see how uh, wide the creek is. So I would say right there's the edge and that tree right over there, that one is right on the water's edge. Yeah, 10 feet, seven inches. Pretty cool. So, oh no, <laughs> 18 feet, seven inches. <laughs> all right, now I was gonna say that looks wider than 10 feet, <laughs> yeah. We're all done with that. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll get that out later on the night and play with it. Yeah. <laughs> Just shoot things with my laser. Yeah. This thing's pretty nice. Yeah. Not necessary for camping, but <laughs> it really, uh, it helped me a lot. All right. So I used to use that when, uh, when I was working. I used to use that to measure stuff. All right. So I always put my because it's such a big hammock, it's a double. I always put it on the outside now that I, ever since I fell <laughs> out of it twice, um, I go ahead and do that so that I make sure that I sit in the middle of it. <laughs> so this was great uh, using the table just like this. Um, yeah. <sighs> so what now? It's going to be a while for uh, dessert. I can't wait to show you what I got for dessert. I think for right now, I'm just gonna lean back and listen to the water. And I'll tell you what, my eyes are getting heavy. Whew. Well, it gets dark at 6.10. We're 20 minutes away from it being dark. So I've gotta get camp just a little bit more situated. Maybe I'll put my food bag and uh, my dry bag. I'll get my backpack um, readied up and I will get my top quilt out and get that ready for later. Get, definitely getting cold. So it's supposed to get down in the 40s tonight. Yeah, that's chilly. All right, <laughs> I'm kind of getting hungry for dessert now. So when I was in Dollar General, I don't know, when I was a kid uh, for Christmas, I, oh, and <laughs> go figure it, it's the end of October, and if you want Christmas stuff, go to Dollar General. <laughs> it's like they have all seasons out all year round, but they just started putting their Christmas candy out, and uh, I was thinking, what can I have for dessert? I was going down, up and down the aisles. If, if you remember these, throw it down in the comments, say, I used to eat these um, a long time ago, or may just found them recently but me about 40 years ago i used to get these in my stocking <laughs> yeah an orange egg or a, um, a chocolate orange it's well i'll open it and i'll show you oh these are good really really good so 
there this one's made by Terry's I think T Terry's chocolate. It's dark chocolate. The the original orange ball. There we go. <laughs> it's the original. <laughs> and go figure. And <laughs> so get it ripped out of here. Oh this guy. I haven't had one of these in oh I don't know how long. I'm gonna have to pick some up <laughs> because they, they'll probably go quick. They're hard to find, but I get them for all the grandkids. Yeah, so there it is. It's in a little tin foil. It says Terry's on the end. Now, if you've never had one of these, it's chocolate. It's all chocolate, but it's orange flavored chocolate. <laughs> and it's, a ball but they're orange slices so I just want to slit it with my fingernail that foil or do I just open the whole thing I can't I can't eat the whole thing maybe as a kid I tried <laughs> but all right so I'm just gonna pull it oh. oh look at that so it's oh. <laughs> five second rule <laughs> Hurry! Uh, it it fell on a uh, clean leaf, <laughs> but hopefully you can see that. See, it's an orange slice. They're orange slices, but they're chocolate. Ooh! <laughs> oh man! Is that ever good? Mm. It's got the orange flavor to it, but with dark chocolate, like a dark chocolate covered orange. Yum. All right. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this and keep listening to the creek. Like I said, it's getting dark quick. And then I might turn that gas lantern on for a while. I got a light on already. You can see the shadows. But you wouldn't be able to see me if I didn't. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's dangerous. I might have to put that away. Yeah, I'm just been sitting here with the fire maple lantern. <laughs> yeah, that's all I've got lighting it up right now. That and my green light that I've got on my head. Well, let me turn the camera around. There's eggcorns dropping off the tree. Yeah, this is that fire maple lantern. You see, I can turn it up pretty bright. <laughs> so get a little brighter so you can see me. Um, but yeah, this hardly uses any fuel at all. That's a nice piece of equipment. Yeah, so Dollar General's getting ready to close. It's about... Mm, five to ten they close at ten o'clock then the parking lot lights they go off at about ten thirty so i can see a little bit of light light casting across the top of the bank up there into this area yeah I keep hearing noises <laughs> so the 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 water i mean it 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 Keeps you from hearing some sounds because we're right next to the rapids like you saw earlier. Uh, but yeah, well, it's getting late. <laughs> I don't know if I want to walk up there, tempt that or not later on to see how that intersection is. I don't want to get any attention on me. Uh, so well, I'll play it by ear. But for now, I'm going to turn this light down a little bit. Oh, I just turned it up, turned it down a little bit to more of a candle, a small candle. <laughs> just set that there, lean back in the hammock and, and keep enjoying the evening. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Well, I'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah, there's the creek at night. So I got my headlamp on because they just turned or the lights just went off up at uh, Turkey Hill. 
I've waited about 15 minutes since they've been off and uh, I thought maybe we would take a walk up there and see how busy that intersection is. But I gotta navigate this. So I'm probably not gonna film too much until I get up there. Oh, well, yeah, I'll talk to you when I'm up top. Yeah, so I'm where that restaurant used to be. Oh, there's a car. So this is that intersection right out here. Like I said, it's pretty busy. We're just gonna be in the grass section right here. So you can see the reflection of the water right there. That's the creek that we're right next to and right over there is Turkey Hill. Yeah, so you can see that. Now they're open 24 hours. So. Yeah, it's a busy intersection. Well, it's not too busy right now. But you can see there's still cars. It's about 10 of 11 now. I don't want to stay out here too long. But looking back straight across there, it's dark. Now that's a parking lot. That's only there on Saturdays. That's a flea market every Saturday. And then right over here is the Dollar General. So you can see they're all closed up for the night. Here comes a car. I think where I'm standing, they really can't see me standing here. And there's two cars. <laughs> and and one car's honking at the other one. Go! Go! <laughs> it's good. The light's green and he's just sitting there. What the heck's going on? Oh, wow. Yeah, there's... Oh, he's going around them. Oh, now he decides to go. <laughs> All right. I don't know what they were doing just sitting there. <laughs> yeah, we got a tractor trailer and another car. Yeah, like I said, this is a busy intersection all night long. All right. Well, I'm going to head back. It's, I'm getting tired. So we're back this way. Really can't see. It's dark. Yeah, it's real dark. So we should have no problem hanging out there for the rest of the night. All right, let me make my way back there. I don't want to turn my headlamp on because somebody will see that for sure. All right, well, I'll talk to you when I'm back down there. Yeah, look at that moon see it through the trees that's our october sky yeah that looks spooky <laughs> yeah so you can hear the creek it's uh it's a little chilly down here it seems like there's a not really a breeze but it's just it's cool because you're next to the water yeah so i'm gonna climb into the hammock really soon and uh, say lights out but let's let me get climbed in there i gotta turn this lantern off that thing's giving us some nice light so i'm gonna turn this light out isn't that nice <laughs> that's that's got a good look to it so i'm gonna turn that off for tonight set that down on the table and then i'm gonna grab my o light o bulb and get that turned on. There you go. All right. Well, I think it's time for me to go to bed. I'm really getting tired. I am. I'll tell you that water, that's just sounding good down there. Yeah. All right. Well, I will see you in the morning. 
I appreciate you coming along on this adventure. It's random. And wasn't that <laughs> dinner cool? Yeah. All right. Well, for now, I'll see you in the morning. You have a great night. And you know what we always say? Lights out. Traffic, traffic, traffic. <laughs> so, so much, so much traffic at that intersection. Oh, I'll tell you what, that water, it, perfect, 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 perfect. All right. Well, good morning. <laughs> yes, it is a good morning. There's a siren. Yeah, in the middle of the night last night, <laughs> look at the leaves. In the middle of the night last night, I heard, I heard sirens go by. Oh, here comes another leaf. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's my alarm. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get up and uh, get a cup of coffee made. I do have breakfast, but I'm not sure if I'm going to eat it. <laughs> yeah, I put it in the food bag last night. And what is it? Well, it is milk. Definitely cold enough and Cheerios a bag of honey nut Cheerios I don't know if I'm going to eat them though I'm just not hungry but I'm definitely going to make a cup of coffee so I got that right here on, on my table so let me get out of bed <laughs> and get some coffee made alright here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, burr. <laughs> so, I'm thinking of taking my honcho poncho here. This is actually a poncho. I'm thinking of putting that on and sitting here. Oh, but I got to get this coffee going. And what are we going to use to heat up our coffee? Well... We're gonna use a little alcohol stove. So I got our alcohol stove all laid out here, and yeah, we got the cup already filled up with water, but I've got that instant espresso. I do have some creamer. Oh, that's actually uh, dried milk or powdered milk. So I'm gonna put that in my coffee. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stove fired up. Now this is uh, an alcohol stove. Now. I, I took the lid off, so this screws on there. I had the alcohol in here already, so that when we got here, we wouldn't have to worry about it or do anything. We could just stick that on there, and so I just gotta give this a strike. Uh, move that aside, and find my sweet spot on the ferrule rod. Oh, my hand's cold. I missed. There we go. Yeah, the one thing's about alcohol stoves, you really can't see that flame, but that flame's there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this upside down on there and get our cup set on here. Turn our little handles out and let that heat up. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah, the sun's coming up behind me, and you can really see it on the bank over there and just watching the water. But if it wasn't for the traffic, man, this would be really, really peaceful. You hear all these big trucks coming down the, coming down the mountain. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Alpine warrior gave me a tip. <laughs> he said, when you're not using your headlamp in the morning and you haven't packed it away yet, just hang it around your neck and keep it there so you don't lose it. <laughs> That's a great tip. Oh, it's starting to get warm. Yeah, I'm going to try to find out where the, this creek goes. That's some clear water, so I don't think it's coming out of a mine. I really don't know. Oh, right, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel! <laughs> There's squirrels all over. I was watching one in the tree over here earlier. He was running back and forth, up and down. Yeah. And the leaves are falling. Yeah, I had quite a few leaves on me again this morning. Oh, that's one thing when you don't have a tarp on and it's fall. No, you're going to get leaves. Yeah, that's all right. A little crackling <laughs> when, you, when you roll over. It's almost there. You put the coffee in. So this is really fine. All right. <laughs> you can tell I'm not awake yet. <laughs> so... Don't talk to me till I have my coffee. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can talk. Mm. Ah, very good. Cheers. Salute. Good morning. <laughs> oh, that's getting better. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mmm. Ah, very good. All right, so I am going to sit here, drink this coffee, and then I'm going to work on getting things broke down, packed away, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. All righty, all righty, so we're all packed up. What are you doing down there? <laughs> all right, so, hey, I want to say thanks a lot for coming along. Hey, we got to do one thing yet. That's cue the music, all right? How about we cue the music? There it is, all right, so, hey, uh, thanks for, a lot for coming along. Man, I think we always have an awesome time when we're together. And I really appreciate you and I thank you very much for watching the video and continuing to watch. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you like this video, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button. Woo, right there it is. <laughs> and, uh, if you think about it and you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 10,000. We're only 320 away. Well, by the time you see this video, you, we might be only 200 and some away from 10,000 subscribers. So consider becoming part of the 2.0 family. I really appreciate it. And uh, remember, it's just one adventure at a time. Oh, hit that notification bell too. Ah, <laughs> All right, well, I'm really, really enjoying this. So remember, it's one adventure at a time. And if you can't get out and have your own adventure, well, keep coming out along with me. I think we're having an awesome time. All righty, all righty. So, Tony 2.0 out. Oh, now I just got to walk on out of here. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see you on the next random adventure. Oh, take a look at some of these names of people that have been helping the channel. All right, see ya. Did I go the wrong way? I'm lost. <laughs> no. All right, well, if you're ready to go on the next adventure, come along. We got to get going. We got to get back to the car. All right, let's go. Oh, oh. 
You're getting heavier. <laughs> You've been eating my snacks. <laughs> All right. It's gonna be a good day. See ya.